Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So today we will continue our discussion related to combinational arithmetic circuits. We are discussing about full subtractor. So in this video we are going to discuss about the implementation, the logical implementation of full subtractor using uh, basic logic gates. So full subtractor using basic logic gates again using basic logic gates there are two cases in one case we will use XOR gate a multi input XOR gate and in another case we will not be using XOR gate okay so this is the first case using XOR gate okay <clears throat> okay so this is the thing so first let us draw the block diagram of full subtractor okay so we have full subtractor we have three inputs minor hint and subtrahend the two bits which have to be subtracted and the uh, the borrow input okay not the carry borrow input sorry it is the borrow input then it has two outputs difference and output borrow okay a b b in two bits to be subtracted input borrow output two outputs difference and output borrow so here we'll write the difference as a xor b xor b we'll use this format for difference because we are using xor gate and for output borrow we'll use this expression because we want to use minimum number of gates so it is a bar b or b b in or a bar b this so these two expressions boolean expressions will use and will implement using these two boolean expressions okay so first for the difference so here we'll use a three input xor gate the three inputs are a b and b in the two bits to be subtracted minor hand subtra hand and the input borrow bit the output is the difference three input xor gate so a xor b xor b in that's why deliberately i have used this format for difference okay this is the difference then for borrow output so what we'll do we'll take this because in the borrow output there is a bar and the remaining variables the they are without inversion uncomplemented only a is complemented so we'll take this a pass it through a not gate or inverter so we get a bar so <clears throat> we'll use three two input and gates because there and a bar and b i said whenever there is product form it means it is and this is and this okay so we'll use three two input and gates 
so here we'll be using that I'll be using a different color here okay so So first is A bar B. So we'll take B from here. And A bar from here. So we have B and we have A bar. As the inputs, the output is A bar B. Then we'll take B and B in. So B okay, it's okay. B and B in. So this is here B. This is B in the input borrow. So we have B B in. Then we have A bar B in. So we'll take this. This is the A bar. This is A bar. Yes, this is A bar. And this is B in. B in. So this is B in, this is A bar. So we have A bar B. Now the borrow output is sum of products, okay, sum of these AND forms. So we have to use a 3 input OR gate as well. Okay, we have to use a 3 input OR gate and we will provide these 3 terms okay, as 3 inputs. So finally, we will have the output borrow which is A bar B or B B in or a bar B okay so here we have used three input gates first here we have used a three input XOR gate then we have used a three input OR gate and this here they are two input AND gates okay three two input AND gates one three input XOR gate one three input OR gate okay so this is the thing so here we have got the difference and the borrow outputs and this entire block this this so the full subtractor one of the alternatives is to arrange the full subtractor in this way so this is what you will find inside this block diagram inside the block di as I told you that a combinational circuit can be expressed in a block diagram form so here inside this block you will find this logic circuit arrangement this is one of the alternatives in the the other case where there is no 3 input XOR gate used, here we have to use only basic logic gates to get the same result. Okay.